Mm. Will you mm. go back to NLC for Marcus Yip PhD? Wow, eh. Hello everybody, this is Julian from Julian Tech TM and today is our one year anniversary for this channel. Woohoo! I haven't slept in 24 hours so I'm a bit tired so... Coffee. 24 so we have Kylo Ren and Meow to keep us company. What I want to do is just really reflect on the past year. Past year. So what I want to do for this video with Ashley is to reflect on the whole year. We will start with some questions from you guys about the channel. Yeah, then later we have like a reflection time, yeah? But before we do that, let's thank our sponsor for today, Skillshare. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys already know about Skillshare, but if you don't know, you're really missing out. Skillshare is an online site where you can learn all kinds of lessons from the community, including photography, video editing, and many, many more. The teachers are experienced professionals in their field, and the classes they offer are broken down into small bite-sized lessons that I can learn at my own pace. I recently found a MKBHD class on Skillshare called YouTube Success. And it's amazing because it condensed years of YouTube experience into a single lesson. Starting up your own YouTube channel has never been easier. And this is just the tip of the iceberg of what you can find on Skillshare. Want to join the community? The first 1,000 people who use the link in the description will receive a one-month free trial Skillshare Premium. Fastest fingers first. So we get that questions from both our Instagram accounts. Shall we get right into it? Yes. Are you... Sleepy, yes. <laughs> What I meant to say was, are you looking forward to this? Yeah, yeah. When you wrote the question tag, right? Did you even look at any of the replies? I did, one or two, okay. but not every So you're not prepared at all? La. No. Okay. And I, I think it's good because these questions will kind of make me reflect. Mm. You know, like, um, and also your response will be very genuine, right? I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, or unprepared. Sleep. First question from Eugene.xr. What keeps you going? Coffee. Can you get a nicer in-depth answer? What keeps me going is that I know that it's a very good opportunity and if I don't take this opportunity, I might miss it forever. So you don't want to lose out lah. Yeah. A bit kiasu ah. A bit kiasu, a bit grateful also because I think a lot of people would kill to have my opportunity. So when the going gets tough, does that, does that help you? Does the going gets tough, the tough gets coffee. The next question from James underscore Lee 59. Do you miss making gaming content running a gaming channel? Any plans coming? No leh. Yeah, I don't miss making gaming content because at the end of me making gaming content on my previous channel, I started to not like gaming anymore. So when I stopped doing gaming channel, I start to enjoy my games more. Even if you love something, if it becomes your work, you tend to hate it ultimately? I think no. No? It was more of, I, I'm very particular about the games I play. Sometimes I like to play PUBG, sometimes I like to play Fortnite, sometimes I like to play CSGO. Let's say the game that is on trending is Fortnite and I like to play CSGO, I'm forced to play Fortnite when I actually want to play CSGO. Whereas like tech is different because I, I just love tech in general, I like, I like every tech. Your preferences for gaming don't follow trends and that's a problem. Sometimes but it YouTube, does. Yeah, okay, yeah. So it doesn't always follow trends. Yeah. For YouTube, the fact is that you have to follow trends, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But is there any plans coming up? Along. I do. I have some plans. Okay, next. This is questions from Benji underscore 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 Booba. How did your passion for tech start? I think it all started from gaming. Uh. Gaming? Yeah, because you know gaming, uh, you need like good hardware. Right. So Crisis was really the game that I really wanted a Can good it PC. Run crisis. And at that time, 2008, even if you have the best of the best computer graphic card, CPU, you still cannot run. That was really, really like made me want to go into PC building. Ah. Mm. Yeah, just really interests me. Ah. Next question. These two questions here are kind of similar. So I, I grouped them together. First question from Ryan Wom Ng. How much money you make in from Marcus Ho? How much do you earn? And do you have a separate full-time job? So I do not have a separate full-time job. This is my no, this actual full-time job. Full job yeah. Our full-time yeah. job. How much money we make in? Um, not enough for two people. Not la. enough for two Basically, people. Singapore average below yeah definitely for now. below for now yeah for now. i think the problem is also because a lot of the money we're making we are putting back in buying new equipment we are thinking of renting or office or hire new people yeah. so i actually don't know how much i'm earning uh -huh. i'm actually just like trying to survive live a bit but not to the point that i i'm comfortable with because you know it's not enough to start a family oh, yeah, yeah. but we are i'm working towards next that. question mm -hmm. will you go back to noc for marcus Yip phd Wow, eh. Yes. <laughs> Did you abandon us? No, no, no. 
like go back to NOC, just act only what can what no I problem what. Don't yeah. need to do any like full time commitment what. I mean that is still the case what. You are still with NOC. Right? I think technically I am. Yes. I'm actually not quite sure. <laughs> Let me know, Ryan and Sylvia can call me but the thing is they haven't called me i did the video with ryan for yeah, his cable, for management. cable management yeah me and ryan are still friends mm -hmm. it's up to them man at the end of the day it's not my channel but this is my channel mm -hmm. next question from s x t h i z underscore what inspired you to be a tech youtuber and what made you grow so much in the past year so firstly i have interest in pc building right and i started out doing noc tech i built a pc and it got a lot of views a lot of traction i didn't really expand it i kind of stopped doing tech for noc and i do more of the gaming and i realized even after stopping noc tech people still ask me questions about pc building about tech during the cb period when i wanted to start my own channel i'm thinking like, should i do a comedy channel should I do a voiceover channel? Should I do a prank channel? Couple channel? Looking at my interest and the response that I'm still getting, it's a no-brainer lah to do yeah. tech lah. If I do anything else, it's a bit a bit dumb lah. That was one reason that inspired me to be a tech YouTuber. What made us grew so much. so much. One thing is that we are honest, relatable. Can you say other tech YouTubers are not so honest? It's not they are not so honest. They are not lying, but they are not openly telling people behind the scenes. It's like Instagram. Instagram, a lot of curation to make your feed look happy all the time. But I think for this channel, if there's a sad part or there's a down period, I will let you guys know. Not everything is all high up and what. I try to be as honest. Right. Even when it comes to sponsor, I will tell you all, this is sponsor. We are getting money for this. I will never do paid reviews, all this kind of Make you know? it very obvious that this is an advert. Huh? And I'm not gonna pretend like I don't want money. Like. We need money to keep this channel alive. You know, I think a lot of people go, it's not about the money. I might. Like, it is the money still. But I will also tell you that I have turned down so, so many because, collaborations only yeah. because they wanna pay us to do a, an unboxing video. They even give you like a guideline. Oh, you need to say this, 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 this about this product. Then I'm like, but what if I don't think about that, that about the product? Yeah. And then they say, no lah, we will have to run our review by them and then it can go up like, I'm like, yeah, no. In that kind of transaction, right, you are yeah. basically selling your integrity. Yeah, you are, you are. Yeah. You are selling the integrity at the cost of your viewers' uh, yeah. opinion of you. Even if I'm not that. honest, that's a stupid thing to do. Because at the end of the day, you guys are the boss. Okay, next. From Dallas Leung, with lots of Gs. Any plans to bring in interns who are passionate about PC and PC building to the channel? F, cheap labor, sure thing. Oh, I mean passionate workers. Okay, from Holy Water Vapor, what is your favorite PC build that you have done? My favorite PC I have done, unfortunately, had a uh, very little views. Was the build that I did with oh, Yaya and Ridwan. Oh, Yaya and Ridwan. Yeah, yeah that yeah. was very fun to make. Why is that your favorite PC build? Ah, it was just very fun. Build a, a with PC your... with my friends and then have challenges and all this kind of thing. Yeah. My idea, okay. Just said that it didn't get a lot of views because people wasn't interested. But at least it was a fun video to make. Ridwan was so bad. It's it good. was great. Yeah. <laughs> This is a really really good question from Hiroshifu19. Favorite hate comment? This one is good. This one is good. It's we can very, see. Very very good. I love this question so much. See. I love this question oh, so wait, much. Wait 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 wait. Before we do, do some acting first. Hmm. I have a, but I'm not sure if I should say. <laughs> I think you know what? We just censor the name. Censor the name la. La. My favorite hate comment is not in my video. Ooh. Yeah. My favorite hate comment is on someone else's TikTok video. Ashley, you share your favorite hate comment first. Okay. One comment that says, uh, a Julian watcher, I heard that she's a social climber. Yeah, you lah. <laughs> Why is it so funny? Because it's so untrue, it's so stupid that it becomes funny. It's just... That's it's what a social episode. climber would say. Where have I climbed to so far? In the past, coming to two years of being with you. I think when you say it, you will sound like a social climber, but take it from me, a lot of times <laughs> I have to force Ashley in front of camera because she always don't want to be in front of the camera. She always likes to be behind. That's why it's very ridiculous and funny. Okay, so my favorite hate comment, basically it started out with a viewer commenting on his TikTok, the tech tuber we need, not Julian, which I'm okay. I don't expect everyone to like my content. What makes it my favorite is that content creator adding the few. What did, what did the person say? So the person say, go to comment thanks boss i think one of my fans actually saw him saying that he was defending me lah. he said dude imagine if you were in his shoes and people say that behind the screen what would you feel and then this is what he said okay. the content creator no bro i don't hate his hustle but as a tech tuber you have a moral responsibility to strive for the best
best. If not, fix if, your mistakes in the comments. Then he also goes on, as a tech guru, the pressure to be correct is high because it's needed to help the consumer. My issue isn't his effort or his mistakes. He has never acknowledged misinformation before, something I cannot tolerate. From someone claiming to provide information for consumers, to say that my trash info is fake news. After that, the my fan says, don't okay. be toxic. And then he replied, I'm not toxic. I just have no respect for his fractured integrity. So the reason why it's my favorite hate comment is because it's from a fellow content creator. He didn't say it in my face. I would take it if he has the guts to do it. I really do strive to be as accurate as possible. I might get it wrong. I'm only human. And yeah. I will always correct the mistakes if it's pointed out to. But I have never seen him pointed out any of my mistakes. So for him to say this all behind my back and not actually tell me I have a mistake makes it mm. quite funny. La. Yeah, that's my favorite comment. Oh, wow, that's actually quite a lot to unpack here. Mm -hmm. In general, we don't address hate comments mm -hmm. because inevitably, there will be hate. In fact, the very first time we got a dislike on our video, I actually went to celebrate with Julian. <laughs> Basically, the idea is that if there is hate on your videos, it means that it has reached enough people. Some of them aren't gonna like your content no matter what. That's mm -hmm. one inevitable hate. And the second part is also there's no need to give attention to people like that all the time, especially when these hate comments are nothing but hate. The only comments he has made is to ask for collaboration and to also respond to a joke. Lah. Nothing to correct Julian. To a certain extent, I do feel a bit responsible for supposed inaccuracy that he claims. But I feel that that's my responsibility to actually make sure that they don't come out in the video because of my lack of knowledge still. Even after one year, I'm not good enough to catch just like that. But here's the thing, what it's inaccuracy? Good. Like really, there's another comment, I don't know whether I can find it. There is this guy, like not him, just a nether hater that said I was inaccurate with the case I'm using. I said I, I was using the Lianli Dynamic O11 when it's actually the Techwear tech VXR. You've never worked with a Techwear case. Yeah, but I never worked with a Techwear tech tech case. <laughs> it is the Lianli case. And for the Lianli case, didn't you take it out of the box? Yeah, I took it out from the, the box. The box says Lianli. I have never touched a Techwear VXR case. You've so touched I'm not a Techwear case, sure. not the yeah. Techwear VXR. You've touched yeah. the Techwear Forge right. M. I think there's a lot of miscommunication there and I wasn't clear enough or I didn't show good enough but it seems like some of these mistakes I have is not mistakes. really mistakes also so I'm not quite sure because <laughs> I'm really open to any mistakes that, that you guys point out to and I will correct it just to wrap this this freaking question up <laughs> in the tech community I'm not trying to throw shit there's a bit of why I get so much views and I'm not that informative you need to put in one thing in your channel entertainment right. are you not entertained not just informative if you're so informative but the people don't understand the mainstream don't understand then what's the point they're not gonna watch yeah right? I mean ultimately while YouTube has become a very good tool for education it first and foremost is still for entertainment yeah. and I think that's one of the main reasons why I believe in Julian is because of his ability to combine both the technical side yeah. with entertainment and put them together in a package that reaches out to not just people who are interested in tech but to everybody else like, who mm. might want to know mm. or maybe just stumbles across our videos. Yeah. Not reflecting the problem is trying to still get it to that relate ability and be more informative. Yeah, That's my plan for 2021 and 2022. Yeah. Okay, from passwords awards. How you manage to get sponsorships here? Yeah? Oh, how do you get sponsors? Relationships. Relationships. Mm, friendships and relationships. I think the first sponsor we got was Aftershock. After I told him that I was building a new channel, he was this. super supportive in sponsoring us. Fun fact, on our first date, that was when I met Marcus for the first time. Because we went to the Comics, Comics yeah. show together. Little did I know that that man become our very first plan. Yeah. yeah, even upcoming clients, right? It's all like just a lot of good relationships that I made. I can't wait to share with you guys. I think it pays off to be genuine. La. And I'm, I'm glad I am. La. Glad you're not like me, social <laughs> climber. I don't want to be that social climber because I really seen the dark side of social media. I'm in this industry for like close to 10 years already. So I've seen my fair shares of backstabbing. I have not actually been directly backstabbed before, but I can see how much it can affect the backstabby. I think I told myself, never to be like that. I, I also seen how fame can change people, Ridwan, and how like, <laughs> how, how it can really mess with you lah. So I'm glad that I have a friend like Ridwan to teach me <laughs> what not to be. <laughs> Thank you Ridwan. Thank you Ridwan, you took one for the team. Yeah. Also having a friend like Yaya helps also lah, kind of ground you ground to tell you. you. All in all, this past year, I've learned a lot. Also dabbling in the idea of hiring and trying to really start up a company. Hopefully we can really nail down one video a week, then later on two videos a week, and three videos a week, and then Linus Tech Tips of Singapore. How about you? This past year has been one of the most difficult but satisfying years. I personally enjoy helping people a lot 
and helping other people achieve their goals gives me way greater satisfaction than just seeing myself achieve my goals. I wouldn't say I have completely helped Julian achieve his goals yet, but we are definitely on the way there lah. It makes me very happy to see him happy. Which I thank you a lot for it. That brings us to the end of the video. Special thanks to Skillshare again. They really help support. Do check them out. And I think we are done. done. Yeah. To another year of channeling. Next year we get 100k subscribers. Yes. Hello everybody. Just want to take some time to thank you guys for you know watching this video and supporting us through all this. Uh, I know I've not been uploading in June because there's a... Uh, I have not been taking a break and it's been affecting my mental health. Oh, also, this video is edited by Ashley. Hey, so if it's not good, blame her lah. <laughs> Hope that the last video with Aurelia was fun to watch and we have a lot more ideas coming up. So, see you in the next video. We're done. For the second time. Yeah. <laughs>